That investigation into Biological Resources Center has brought up a lot of questions about what it really means to donate your body to science. Who benefits? And how are you possibly supposed to know if the business you've chosen is a reputable one? Well, we're taking action to get some of those answers for you tonight. ABC 15's Noelani Graf went inside a body donation facility. You know, hey, there's a big difference here between donating organs and then donating your body to science. Absolutely. As far as body donation is concerned, Steve, the lines are not supposed to cross. When you give yourself to science, you should never have to worry that any part of you will end up inside a living person. Instead, you should be able to trust that what does happen could still help save a life. Inside Science Care Phoenix, you'll find labs that look like typical operating rooms. But instead of fake patients, body donors help mirror more realistic procedures. For example, if it's a knee surgery, they will work with knee uh, specimens and they will practice that technique so that they can go tomorrow back into their, their real practice and benefit patients. Medical device companies test products that improve lives. Implants such as hips, knees, uh, spinal fusion techniques, things like that. Students and surgeons learn how to perform those techniques. Sometimes Sometimes cadavers are sent to them or tissue samples head to labs. Imagine pure research where people are trying to find um, better treatments for disease. The reality is when you call to donate, you don't get to pick what part of your body is studied. Though your medical history is taken into account, it just depends on which projects are happening before your ashes are returned to family. I've gotten calls from families saying, this box is really light, you know, I'm, I'm concerned. And I tell them, that's a wonderful thing. I can tell you your loved one went to seven different projects. A recent project, a combat veteran needed a risky pelvic surgery. Surgeons practiced for eight hours using four donors from Science Care to make sure they got that operation right. And the woman is now able to not only run a mini marathon, but have children, which she never thought she'd be able to do. That's the best a body donor can hope for, helping extend a life after yours has ended. Now keep this in mind, donors should never pay. The legal way these companies make money is charging everyone else who uses their service a hefty fee. The best way to spot a reputable business, check to see if they are accredited by the American Association of Tissue Banks because, Steve, that's not actually required, so it kind of shows that they hold themselves to a higher standard. So essentially they're policing themselves. Absolutely. Nobody else checking up on them. Thanks, Nohay.